I understand. As far as predicting uh, outcomes, um, the first thing certainly that I make clear is that you know there's really no good indicators for individual outcomes. Having said that, I think that one of the things I do notice, and 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 this is just a something of my observation for all the years that I've been doing this, is that the patients that tend to come in wanting to fight, wanting to f figure out what are the more aggressive treatments, they tend to generally do better. I think the patients who kind of come in and say, well, um, I've heard about radiation, I've heard about chemotherapy, I'm scared about that. I want to minimize the amount of treatments that I get because of perceptions of quality of life, which we respect. And they're, they're a little bit more, I think, accepting of, I don't necessarily want to live as long as possible. I just want sort of more of a minimalistic approach on how I'm treated. Um, certainly we respect their wishes, but they tend to not um, do as well. And that's a generalization, not a hard and fast rule. Um, but I think patient approach, because we always have a conversation when they first come in about how aggressive do you want to be on the spectrum of very minimalistic, leave me alone, do nothing, all the way up to a clinical trial and anywhere in between. And based on what they tell me in terms of their goals, then we map out a treatment plan um, that is tailored to what they want. And the ones that really want to be aggressive in general tend to do better.